Hi, I am a tutor in App Labs. Today we are going to discuss about basic computer architecture. Basic units of a computer, there are three or to five depending on how you count basic units that make up a computer. Arithmetic logic unit, also known as a data path, uh, control, ROM, memory, RAM, all this put together becomes a central processing unit. Input output or input output IO. Arithmetic logic unit, so much of what goes on inside a computer is just holding up on our movement of data, but the actual computation, the manipulation of data to generate the new data takes place in the ALU. Because data is represented in binary form, ones are zeros, the ALU is mainly comprised of logic gates, circuits made up from transistors that take inputs combination of i's and rows and produce outputs different combinations of i's and rows. Logic in which the output depends story on the input is called combinatorial. The ADU is not entirely combinatorial. It is also as some sequential components which can hold information. These little holding units are known as registers. The primary register also will be able to go by the name accumulators. Hierarchy of bit holders and electronic device that holds a single bit, a zero or one, is a flip flop. A small collection of flip flops, eight or 16 or 32, etc., is called a register. A counter is a kind of register that, in addition to old bit values, can increment the number of they represent. A collection of register along with the way to address particular register is called memory. Control unit. Control unit is responsible for determining what action is to be performed on what data. If the action is, is a calculation, then the control will deliver the necessary data to the ALU, inform the ALU what particular action to be performed, and then directs the output to the appropriate location. All of the other units of a computer have control inputs that determine whether or not they are active and what actions they will perform. Control takes code down to the slowest level of making the appropriate control inputs i or no, active or inactive. Not all devices are active when the control input is high. Some devices are active, low. Control is wrong. While at high level, instructions may be arranged in new and different orders. This, after all, is what makes the computer programmable. The control sequences for recommended instruction do not change. Control sequences are thus made of read-only memory ROM, which are reprogrammed only rarely. Memory. Memory consists of circuits whose primary purpose is to hold information, but not only temporarily. Memory holds data that the browser has just acted on and is acting on or just acted on. When we use the term memory, we usually mean random access memory, ARAM. Memory. memory is a collection of holding cells like register, each cell has an address, address 000, value is 1000, etc. Random access. The data in any holding cell can be accessed immediately for purposes of reading or writing by supplying its address. Any random site can be immediately accessed, as opposed to sequential access in which one must pass through all intermediate data between one's current location and the next desired location. We see types of the sequential DVDs or random access, they support uh, scene selection and data to be reborn. Memory versus storage. Memory is a temporary holding place that interacts fairly directly with the processor. Memory is volatile. The holding of the information requires power, no power, no data L. A long-term holding of data not currently being processed is done in uh, storage or this floppy disk series. In this basic units picture of the computer storage belongs to the input output unit. Input output. The input unit allows programs and data to be entered into the uh, computer. The output unit allows the results of processing 
to be exported to the outside world or other devices are saved to be used later. The other device may be in the same case as the processor, but it is output as far as processor and memory are concerned. Thus, the hard drive is an input and an output device in this feature. Charles Babbage in early 1800, Charles Babbage designed two machines, first the difference engine and then the undertaken engine that were mechanical machines capable of calculation. The difference engine, which was built in Badger's time, was a special purpose machine that it could only do particular calculation. Undertaken engine, which was the same but not built in Babbage's time, was more ambitious in that it was programmable. Undertaken engine mill, built later based on Babbage's. Uh, specifications. Babbage design. Babbage's uh, design as the units we have the, uh, been describing. He conceived of it as having four components: store memory, the mill computation unit, and controller and PIW, uh, the input section, punch for reader, the output section, punched and print out, uh, print out, print out, out. Babbage's engine when entirely mechanical and were compressed of gears and cogs and such. The store yield 1000 words of 50 decimal digits used to hold variables and resources. The mill, the processor, could take data from the store and add, subtract, multiply, or divide them and return the answer to the store. Babbage input output, the engine's input was from the punch card. Punch card started being used in industry weaving since the early 1800s. They finally disappeared in 1980s. The data input was only was not simply data from the calculations, but also data from the for instructions, making the engine programmable. Instructions included being able to test whether a number of was positive or not, and, and if the engine's output could be punched into the uh, copper engraver's plate, producing a hot copy. Fast forward and the years in 1940s, the electronic numerical integrated and computer anywhere was built at Moore School of University of Pennsylvania. It was completed in 1946 as the Moore School of University of Pennsylvania. Two driving forces, again, it was John Mokey and John Pesperescat. There were uh, other computers we, we were built during the World War II, not only the one developed at uh, Sleeper UK to aid in the code breaking mission. The ENIAC. Consisted of 17,480 accumulators operating at 100,000 pulses per second. Think of accumulators as the super up light bulb. Accumulators play the same role to that transistor in modern computers. The switch from accumulators to transistor mark a dramatic shift in computer size and speed. People talk about computers as belong to different generations, moving to transistors as a generation shift. The Pentium 4 processor introduced in 2009, 42 hundred thousand transistors. The size and power requirements of vacuum tubes would have prohibited these kind of numbers. Programming one drawback to any back was the way it was programmed requires a new program required rewiring. Mom G. Eckert and John von Neumann discussed designs of future computers like EDVAC, in which the program instructions would be stored in computers' memory. Early programmers, uh, sure the early programmers. Von Neumann architecture. John von Neumann was a consultant to the EDVAC project. The team discussed uh, changing the way computers were programmed. Von Neumann publicized and popularized these ideas. The instruction could be converted into numbers and placed in memory with the data. This is known as stored program concept. The combination of basic units, AIDU, control memory, input and output with the stored program concept give one the von Neumann architecture. How to architecture? The von Neumann architecture instruction and data are held in the same memory. A variation of this known as how architecture as the instruction and data are held in separate memories. A more modern variation of the how architecture is to have Data and instruction, the same main memory, but to place them in separate caches. John von Neumann and, and his computer is shown in here. Microcode, 
what is held in the memory is a low level assembly of machine code instruction which may have come when some high level language program was complete. Below that is micro code, the instruction at the lowest level closest to the hardware. Any higher level instruction, including assembly, must be converted to a lower level by control. A single machine language instruction, like lower accumulator here, typically consists of several micro code instructions. Where is micro code stored? It is usually to literally be wired in, hence the term and wired. Typically, it is stored in ROM. If the code is stored in EEPROM, it can be changed. It is known as microprogramming. EEPROM are typically a reasonably programmable read only memory. But this is something one does on a rare occasion, sometimes referred to as firmware, and intermediate between software and hardware. Machine language, a level above microcode, instructions are numbers, which really which are really are the addresses of the microcode instruction in the ROM. Numeric versions of micro language. Machine language is called assembly language. Getting down to the hardware levels, high level programs are translated into assembly language and machine language by compiler. Assembly language programs are translated into machine language by an assembler. Each processor has its own unique machine language. Thus, code must be written, rewritten, or at least recompiled to run on different processors, different hardware. A simple design. Next, we will show a computer design. It still uses the basic bus architecture. A bus is a shared path used to transmit and receive information. A bus is there to the one side of the bus, keyboard input, input port, port two, program counter, memory addresses, system memory, MDR, instruction set controller, connector, other side accumulator, AIO, DMP, BEC, all this uh, registers, output port three, output port four, to the AIO flash set. Display one bus, two bus. In this very primitive organization, there is only one bus. Recall that memory can be thought of as values located in addresses. Here, the same bus is used for both data values and addresses. This will make accessing memory data and writing a two step process deal with the address, then deal with data. That is not the usual case. Most architectures have an address bus and a data bus. Input ports, keyboard encoder converts key pressed into corresponding strings of packets as key. Uh, input port one, where keyboard data is entered, usually contains some memory, a buffer, where data is held until the processor is ready for it. Input port two, where non keyboard data is entered. Program counter. The program counter points to the current line of the program, which is stored in memory. This design shows arrows connecting the PC to and from the bus Y. Sometimes the next instruction to be executed is not the next line of the code in the memory, such as if group subroutines, functions, etc. MAR, MDR, and memory. MAR, memory address register, holds address of the memory location being read from or written to, not necessarily the same as program counter. Memory, memory RAM, the place where data and instructions so, are Memory data register was the data that is being read from or written to memory by direction of connection to bus for reading and writing. <coughs> instruction register was the instruction that is currently being executed. A given line of assembly or machine language code involves several micro code instructions. The instruction register works on to the instruction until all the micro instruction steps are completed. It plays a role somewhat like the MAR but the ROM instead of RAM. Controller sequences reduce the program at the lowest level, send signals to the control pins of all the devices involved. These lowest level instructions are in ROM. Each assembly level instruction has a numerical counterpart machine language. The numerical counterpart is the address of the microcode for that instruction stored in ROM, not shown in a controller connection to everything. Accumulator and EIDU. Accumulator register is used in conjunction with EIDU. Data upon which arithmetic or logic operations will eventually be performed is stored here. Also, the results of these are stored here. Arithmetic logic unit where EIDU where operations that changes the data as opposed to just moving it around or done. 
flags, flags are output from the A rule that are distinct from data. Data output goes to accumulated A. For example, A carry uh, from an addition and indication of workload. There are, uh, these are needed for program control or to indicate possible errors. The result of a logical comparison less than greater than or equal to. These are needed for control, ifs, loops, etc. TMP, B, and C. TMP is the other register used in conjunction with the ALU. The distinction is that the answers are generally sent to the accumulator. B and C are additional register used for holding data temporarily. They allow additional flexibility and reduce the amount that must be returned to memory. Output ports. Output port a connection to the outside world usually includes a buffer. This design has to be done uh, for display output and a second or other output example storage. Make a code, let us now examine the steps involved in the assembly machine language instruction load accumulator A. What do uh, you mean by load? There are different types of load, load, instruction and addresses. Data at specific address to be put in the accumulator A. Load immediate instruction and data. Data in, uh, instruction sent directly to accumulator A. Load in direct instruction and address. Uh, address. Data in the location indicated by the instruction was another address, and that address has the data to be placed in the accumulator A. Fetch cycle, address state, the value of the program computer, which recall is the address line of the program to be performed, is put into the memory address register. Increment state, the program computer is incremented, getting it ready for the next line time. Memory state, the current line of the program is put into instruction register so control knows what to do. Execution cycle load accumulator A, the remaining step depend on the specific instruction and are collectively known as execution cycle. Recall the instruction considered consists of a load command and an address. A copy of the address is now taken from the instruction register over to the memory address register. The value of the address is loaded into accumulator A. For the load command, there is no activity during the sixth step. It is known as no operation uh, step, uh, no op or knock. So uh, again, the architecture of the, uh, with the one bus architecture of the computer is shown in figure. Data movement happens. Many of the micro steps are involved, moving data and address to the various location, register, memory location, etc. These are shown by the arrows. The information is often, but not always, sent to the bus, so information must be put on and taken from the bus. Load in memory, with memory one uh, talks about reading and writing. With the registers in the bus, one talks uh, about enabling and loading. Enabling, placing a value uh, uh, from a register on the bus. Use stretch edge buffer. Loading, place a value from the bus into the register. Register control pins, a register that takes values off of the bus, example, memory address register, a mod will need a load control pin. It does not always take the value on the bus. Instead, it takes the current value on the bus when the load pin is activated. Clock pin, the clock is another control pin, sometimes called the timing pin, which determines when a register takes the value on the bus. The load input determines if the register takes the value. The clock input determines when the register takes the value. The clock, a binary clock, 10101010101010101010, each clock cycle 01 should take the same amount of time, the time for a cycle, the brain. The number of cycles is the second is called the frequency. On the edge, many registers store on the clock set, positive edge as zero goes to one, negative edge and zero, one goes to zero. Enable, the reverse of a load is an enable. This is when a device places a value on the bus. A register that places the value from the bus, example, buffer associated with an input port must have an enable control pin. Other control pins, items involved in data manipulation as opposed to simply data movement will require additional control pin. For example, the program will not need to be incremented. Thus, additional control pins are required. Thus, pins are sometimes also referred to as enable pins as they enable a particular action. AID control. The primary data manipulator is the AID. The control pins are select between various logic and arithmetic operations. 
and subtract, multiply, and R, etc. Microcode is microcode is ones and zeros stored in ROM. The ROM output is connected to the control pins. For example, one microcode instruction is to take the value from the program counter to the memory address register. So sense active signals to enable the PC and load the MAR. MAR, memory The one human bottleneck. Our basic approach is to get the instruction from the memory, fetch, get the data from the memory, or put data in memory, etc. It's a good. We go back and forth within the memory and see if one instruction at a time. This is a place called one new one button like idea like caching and pipelining attempt to speed the process up, but they don't vary from the overall approach. References computer architecture, Nicholas Carter, computer organization and design, David A. Patterson and John Allen, and C. Digital Computer Electronics, Robert P. Melvin, and Gerald A. Bond. Thank you.